So first of all, what I would say is that trying to compare Crack Shack and Hattie B's is really Welcome back to the Midlife Ride. My name is Chris. And I'm Catherine. And we are headed down to Crack Shack for the very first time to try it out. And to see if we like it better than Howdy Bees, which we already love. Here at Howdy Bees, we always get the chicken sandwich. So it does have some slaw on it. We did get the mild flavor, which we find to be plenty spicy for us and we like spice, so that should be telling you something. I'm, I'm afraid to even try the spicier ones. <laughs> um, we got some potato salad, red skin potato salad, some coleslaw, and of course for Chris, the pimento mac and cheese. And from what I remember, and I'm not a huge fan of mac and cheese, it's pretty darn good, so let's dig in. I think one of the great things about getting older you might find it great, you might not. Um, you tend to eat a little less, and so that's a great money-saving tip for Vegas, I think. Get older, eat less, and so you can share a meal with your partner, <laughs> as we do on many occasions. Oh, I see the steam coming off that bad boy. Yummy. <laughs> Number one, that was much needed. I was like borderline hangry. Like Catherine said, I would be, like, I don't want to be in pain when I'm eating. So I'm afraid if we went above mild on the chicken, it would be too much. But for us, the mild is just right. The nice thing is that you can cool things off with the potato salad. It's like a very neutral, red skin potato salad. The perfect thing to counterbalance the heat of the chicken. So again, the coleslaw is really neutral. Kind of like a cross between uh, mayonnaise based and vinegar based, but now the mac and cheese it is very cheesy, first of all. Look at that, yeah. That is pure comfort mac and cheese is what that is. That is delicious. My turn, yay. <laughs> I'm so happy to eat. Mm, delicious. It's just so delicious. I love the slaw that's on it. It just works. It is fabulous. Potato salad. I get a little spice in that actually, just some pepper. Like maybe it was just the bite that I got. It is really good, it's really creamy. It's really not like anything, any other potato salad that we've had before. It's almost like the mayonnaise isn't really mayonnaise and it's not like Miracle Whip. I'm not really sure what makes it that way, but it's good and it's unique. Coleslaw, honestly, I'm thinking it's pretty bland. I'm not getting a whole lot of flavor with the coleslaw. And I don't remember that in the past because we have had it before. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not digging the coleslaw this time for some reason. Now the mac and cheese. That is really cheesy and really good. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's definitely not box mac and cheese. <laughs> That's for sure. It is really good and it is very comforting. The sandwich comes with one side for $15. We opted to add two more sides for $4 each, and that's why our total was almost $25. But it is a lot of food, maybe a little pricey, but well worth it for us. One money-saving tip, when we go to restaurants like this, we typically pack our own water so that we're not paying really high prices for drinks at a restaurant, you can save yourself so much money. And here in Vegas, you can pretty much bring your own, um, especially in a food court like this. You might wanna do that if you are traveling on a budget. We are here at 
Crack Shack. We got the Firebird Sandwich, which is a spicy fried thigh, ranch, crispy onions, pickles on a potato roll. And we got the Classic Slaw, which is cabbage, Fresno chilies, pickles, and lime mayo. It looks delicious. One of the things I will tell you is that the price is pretty comparable. I think we paid $25 at Hattie B's for one sandwich and three sides. Here, we just got the one sandwich and the one side, but it was about $5 less here, obviously, because we got fewer sides. So pretty comparable in price. I'm gonna try the, this slaw looks really delicious. Make sure I get the peppers and the pickles. Mmm, wow. That is really tasty. There's definitely a kick to it, and it starts hitting you a little bit after. The heat is, is definitely going down my throat, and I like it. All right, here we have the Firebird. And we did, they did have the option of getting it a little less spicy with a different sauce, but we requested it as is. Yeah, that's a good chicken sandwich. I want to say the spice levels are similar. This might be a little spicier than Hattie B's. Of course, we get the mild at Hattie B's, and you can certainly make that spicier. I love it. I think it's really good. So this slaw, I, this slaw looks delicious, and also it's a huge portion. Mmm, that is really unique. I love that. And now for the sandwich. So first of all, what I would say is that trying to compare Crack Shack and Hattie B's is really apples and oranges. They are both really good. I think this sandwich might be a little bit spicier than Hattie B's, and the breading is crunchier, I think. Whether you do Hattie B's or Crack Shack, you cannot go wrong with a hot chicken sandwich. Both really good. So let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite spicy or hot chicken sandwich? Does that have to be in Vegas? But what is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride.